In this demonstration, I will show you how you can convert a database from no archive log mode to archive log mode. To do that, we shall first connect to the database as sysdba. And I'm here issuing a command archive log list, which shows us the current database mode is no archive log mode, archiving is disabled. So now we need to do the steps that will be involved to convert the database. First, we will check the location of our files, which we need to back up. I'm checking the status of the locations of the control file. This tells us two control files are present. Then we will look at the location of the read log files. And we get to see there are three groups with one member each. And finally, we will look at the location of the data files. So we see the location where the data files are kept. We would now have to shut down the database, a clean shutdown, and take a backup of the database. Being a demonstration, I'm not going to do a backup. Since it is a database in no archive log mode, you have to take a consistent backup of all these files. The purpose of this backup is to ensure in case you have any problem during the conversion, you can at least come back to the same state as we are now. Assuming we have done the backup, let's proceed. We would have to set some parameters. Now, These parameters can be put in the P file or we can use the SP file to make those changes. We are using an SP file and in order to use an SP file, we need to have our instance started. So I will put my instance in no mount state. And now we have access to the parameter file, server parameter file. Now let's look at the parameter log archive dest. None of these have any value set, which means we need to go and set. And I'm here setting log archive dest to db file recovery dest, which is my FRA location. And having said this, I want to also see the parameter for the log archive format. And we see that the three mandatory format specifications, percentage %t, percentage %s, and percentage %r are mentioned, which will ensure uniqueness of every archive log file that gets created. Having got this parameter in place, we can shut down. Ideally, if we have used an SP file, we could have continued. But just to ensure, in case you had used an P file, then you would have made changes and what would you have done? You would have done a startup mount. In our demonstration, I could have also done a alter database mount. Either way, the objective is the same. So I get my database to mount state. And in mount state, I will issue the command archive log list, which will show us the current status. We've already seen this. The database was in archive log mode and continues. And this is the command through which we convert the database to archive log mode. Having converted it, we can now open our database. And this is where our database is open for the first time after getting converted into archive log mode. And issuing archive log list will now show us that archiving has been enabled. Having got our database in archive log mode, ideally we should shut it down and take a backup. Since it is an archive log mode, you can issue a full database backup and continue. Thank you for watching.